my name is Luke, and feast your eyes upon Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I finally have been able to uh, record this and edit this and put it on YouTube. I'm very excited to play this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Along with Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, no, fucking, no, no, stop, go back. Just be survived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <laughs> now let's see. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> what does this say? I cannot read comments. I cannot read comments. Hello there, Mario. I am now on a holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. Wait, oops. <laughs> she just says she found a box or something. It was inside a box I got from an old mansion in the town called the Wake. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could uh, help me on the point. Well, of course, not you. You did the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you can. Meet you at the robot. That's what you did. You must come. What do you know? It's true. There's a withered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hmm. Yes. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this looks like shit. Yes! We're here. We're gonna make it. I'm gonna shit happily tonight. I pressed A for that to continue. I wonder what would happen if I just stayed there. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's the Oh, it's right over there. Oh! It looks like a shithole. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare for doing some bark. I was asleep the whole entire time. What's that? You thought? You say the bridge is here, wait a minute. Is that so? Uh, <laughs> of course not. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, get this back. Don't say I didn't warn you. Dude, that's such a power move. So many problems with you fix if you could just leave Pyro Bow out in the air and simply turn it around. I want to go for a swim. Whee! Why are they chin chomps in the water? What are they doing in the water? I just lost that. What do you want, pal? Huh? The princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that now. I'd remember a princess probably. Well, why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Uh, owe your money or is she your girlfriend? What do you want? Get away from me, you freak! Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> don't come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the distant stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking so you can go and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, please. Ew. 
Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our forces. That's a bad boy, Trump. We're on it. No, stop my thing. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're scallywag. Move your ever loving dogs. I should probably go ahead. Okay, hello. Woo! I'd, I'd go anyway with smelly lunatics like you. Not likely. <laughs> What do you think you're doing, Trump? Do you think you can screw up my plan? Uh, Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste to feel the crump of bomb I'm gonna sit on your face and I'm gonna shit on you! <laughs> what? It's a me, Mario! I'm going to cross you do with my ass! Battle time, Mr. Mayo. Just find a way to beat this freak out of- Just freak up the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, there's someone in the middle of the game. How do you know my moves? Yes, <laughs> Yes, I know how to dodge, I know how to play this game. Yes! You've got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on it! <laughs> <Whee! laughs> no, I can't jump on me! You suck a dick! <laughs> I love how his only move is Whee! Yeah, I bet you know, but those get, you get these things called star points when you win battles. Uh, when you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Uh, don't forget that, okay? Beautiful. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll get, I'll get, I'll get. You might have broken my, you might broken my ass skull. You might have given me a few punches, but you know what? That's bad. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. He had the squad in the back corner. He had the squad camping in the corner. Punish him! <laughs> Except they are too stupid to know that we have escaped. <laughs> what a bunch of loons. Why don't you sneak out of here? What do you say? That's a good air gun. Let's go away. Haha! Haha! Oh! Where did they go? <laughs> huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Oh, they pulled me. Wow, mister. You, uh, totally saved me. Thanks. Well, let's see. Let's put ourselves in Lord Crump's shoes for a second. There's only one way they could have gone. And they don't bother to go that way. <laughs> I have just got to give you a little reward. I like how they have, like, a public news in the middle of the town. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goon. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Night. Um... <laughs> Maybe don't do that, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, if you hear a lot of noises in the background, uh, we got some guys working in our basement. We're setting that up. Getting it, uh, getting it nice and fancy down there. Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? I, I, I actually said it, but don't worry. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rugport, so I shouldn't expect it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't some of the legendary treasure here. Oh. 
What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko. What you got there? Alright, can you put it a little lower, please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that the treasure map? <laughs> you have to tell me where you got it. Ah! It's low. <laughs> Is this beach? What? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Oh. God damn. They throw it hands back there. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? Hmm? Ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. Hmm, and she told you she'd meet you here in Rope. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is. Well, funny you say. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. <coughs> you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. At this point, I feel we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Jesus Christ, damn, okay. <laughs> you got into conclusions real quick. I have been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Uh, surely you'll find her. Sure. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Like, every single time. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and uh, enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your uh, heart points running low. Just drop in on, on the inn. Oh, yes, uh, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of you. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit... ...of around the edge of this Yes, well... Puff, I said. Puff, I said. Princess Peach. You know what I mean? Like, Peach. The much of a kid is a princess. You always get some mad Peach. Okay. Calling her out like that. Okay. Oh yes, hey, this crazy creature said sent to you that treasure map. Uh, yes. Well, this is the reason. Yeah. Where could she have gone? Then, uh... Maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own. think she got sick. That's it. She's in the hospital. Let's go. I know Mario. I'm coming to One of my professors is here. He's searching that treasure. Oh, okay. Okay. Join your party. underestimated how uh, the volume of the of this game uh, and there's at some points where I cannot really hear myself and looking at the past footage so I just did some quick changes and I uh, turned the volume down of this game so hopefully it's still good enough for you to hear and it's good enough for you to hear me as well we got this shady character back here did you ship back here what did you do back here dang yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor you believe that but not next time, man. I'm coming back a wiener. The odds favor me now. Alright, what's in here? Am 
my favorite place to be. The star piece, those are useful for later. There's a bug. Kill the bug. This town is literally just Oscar the Grouch simulator. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until th about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogue Point. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret. He's definitely forgotten about this and he's gonna tell like thousands of other people. The Pianta Syndicate- THE SYNDICATE! And the Robo's heating up, apparently. Best day indoors. Tatooine belongs to the syndicate. <laughs> uh, it was uh, this way. Oops. Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. How do you know? Maybe you stole half of my coins. Could tell what you know. This is so lame. I hate this town. Now, see, I've played this game multiple times, but now that I know where that little bitch, little bitchy bitch is hiding. Little, little Wiener Pew Pears. Mr. Wiener Pew Pear. Come here, I know where you're hiding. Yeah, this your house? Yeah, you should. At this point, don't even try. You, you, you need to leave. Oops! Um, <laughs> fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent-looking people in town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? You know what? You know what? You're honest about that, so I respect it. Is there any, like, government here? Is this just an anarchic town? There's a chest up there. I'm gonna be able to get that later. Actually, wait. Can I hit it down with my hammer? Oh, yeah, I forget. Oh, okay, yep. I remember how you get this, but no, this is that that's not an ability until you get like quite a bit into the game. I know this is a thing back here. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. <laughs> but somebody started telling me, so so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me. I'll bark you. Are you the ghost of Christmas past? My name is Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking for now. Look at that. Sorry, piece by just walking randomly back here. Ooh. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. What you giving me that look for? That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of the Ishnail, head of the Lobos. It's ten coins to pass through. You can try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you up real good. What's this? Professor Frankly. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. Hi right there! Hi right there! Don't want me! Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. 
Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Hmm, it's not Umbriel. Uh, it's not the little girl. Hmm. Ah! 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 I've got it! You're Goombala, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow. Yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, Junior at uh, you Goom. Go Goombas. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is, um... Uh... Oh! Mario! Professor, he's Mario. You know, the, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue what's about what's hip right now. Huh. Quotation marks. What would be- what would Goombas use for quotation marks? Would they just like- would they just do a handstand and just like curl their feet? <laughs> In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogue Point. I thought that if anything- if anyone knew anything about it, it would be you, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it! The reason I came here was to study that very subject! Why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know, at Marseille, it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe that the treasure does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point! And well made. In that case, I'll, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. And that the treasure was not really the treasure inside, it was the fence that you made along the way. <laughs> so many different theories, obviously it's impossible to define the truth among them. But, all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed! The same! As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. The, the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> All of a sudden, Paper Mario has a collaboration with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door, and the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then I'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is uh, lost. If only we had that map. Oh, well, uh, we have it right here. <laughs> well, not Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it. Can I, uh, take a quick look at it if you don't mind? How are you holding it up? Are you... I just feel like Goomba have, like, just insanely flexible feet. And toes. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. I right know, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella! Mario! Off we must go! This instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! I bet you didn't know this was a rotten old thing came off. Did you? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Professor Franklin broke the game. Oh no. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. 
We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on. Mother! Let's get moving. What if I want to... Can I talk to that guy? Hold on. You know what, for, like, uh, for the extra experience? I can attack you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your worst, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Gus. <laughs> Alright, that's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take trolls from everyone. Okay, max HP is two. Ooh, whoa! Okay. That's okay. We can take him. Oh, and I've told you a million, a million times. No, this is the first time you're telling me this. That point needs to be ahead of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Damn, okay. Yeah, we just need to do two turns. It's okay, we got this. We got this. We, we got this in the back. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you son of a bitch. This time I come with the shrooms. Prepare yourself. Haha, you suck. You keep- you keep- you keep being my wall, Goombella. You're doing good. You're doing a good job. You're doing so good, Goombella. Why is he not throwing his javel in? Wait, what? <laughs> It would be so much easier if he would just throw his javelin. He's not. What? You're literally digging your own grave. You stupid ass! Goombella is taking these. It's like a jam. Okay, let's switch. That's okay, Goombella, you got this. You got <laughs> You got this. Okay, maybe I should uh, you know what? No. It doesn't it doesn't matter if, if um the side character dies. It only matters if Mario dies. Unfortunate. Boink. There we go. That's how we do it here. Get shit on. You suck. L plus ratio plus cope. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Yep. That's the point of these video games. Alright, now let's go. Let's go rest at an inn. Oh, there ain't no pillow. There is no pillow. There is a there is a sheet of plastic and a blanket. Hey, hang on a second. Mario, uh, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums, Willow, so uh, to be a guide up, you do, do know about your action commands, don't you? Yes, yes we do. No, I don't need a tutorial. Please, 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 please. No, thanks. I'm good. Nope. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, but no. Oh. He didn't come down with us before.
Now, I don't know how this game works. In Paper Mario, if you bump into an enemy first, like if you jump on an enemy or hit an enemy with a, a hammer first, then you get the first attack. So, that's pretty handy. Hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? It's a pair of Goomba, okay. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang out with us for a little while? We're playing real nice. Man, what's a fine looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys. You, you, like, you make me feel like totally barfing now. Get out of my way. Ouch. That there was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Okay, so the, for this circumstance, there was just a cutscene, so, uh, we don't really... Who goes first? I don't remember. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Para Goomba. My! The whole Goomba family tree! <laughs> yeah, cause, that's... Spiny Goomba, that... Isn't that, like, a hat? That's not... That's natural? What? <laughs> the only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who'll take damage. Bear Goomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. Uh, you'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Because you have so a lot of experience. <laughs> Can we just get like a Professor Frankly Chronicles game? <laughs> he just goes off on some bitches. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order. Yep, I already do that. So let's do that. Let's hit, you hit this one. Shit. That's not what I wanted. That's okay, I can jump on this one. Yoink! There we go! Holy Jesus. What is that? And now we're gonna hammer your bitch ass. And yoink! What, twice the size, twice the experience, you know what I mean? We should get- actually, wait, I think we did. Wait, did we? I don't know. Owie! Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll howl, all have it in for us, for some reason. When they attack, try to hammer them on jo Yep, I already talked about that. You're, you're, you're repeating what I said, Professor Frankly. Stop doing that! <laughs> Okay, we cannot go this way yet. Bruh. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> oh, come on! What? What are you guys doing? Bitch. <laughs> so, okay, you struck first, and then watch this. Sick. The battle didn't even start yet, and I already won. I- it's- <laughs> Was- the, It was literally over before it started. <laughs> I tried to hammer them, but he'll, hold on here, I'll explain it after this, hold on. Yoink. Oh, god damn it. That's okay. Yoink. So, for flying enemies, you can actually hammer them. You can actually hammer them for a first strike. I wanted to do that for an example, but I suck at this game, and I did not get that off. Oh, God, pass the box. Oh, 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 collateral damage. Holy shit, get shit on. <laughs> Pretty much, or no? Oof, that way. Oh, I forget. What's this way? I cannot get that yet. Literally, the eighty percent of the things that you see at this part of the game, you cannot accomplish yet. Oh. 
frame stayed there. Interesting. I don't think these things have any advantages defensively. Well, besides the fact that they are that they have more health. Let's just use Tattle, just to learn about them. Because I think once you use Tattle on them, it'll, sh it'll show like the HP bar every single time now. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin and papery boards. Certainly looks unique. Uh, nobody knows about much about these creatures actually. Max HP is three. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Yoink. Oh god. Damn. I just juked out. I just fucking destroyed your ankles. Yoink. There we go. Think we have the set fall over? Nah. Yeah, I get shit on. Doink. Ooh, heart. I thought I did a night. That could be dealt with later, I just remembered. Oh, there's a key. A strange black key, but what could it be for? <clears throat> I know what it is for. At least I think so. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must be near the Hero of Legend! Uh, what? Only the great Hero of Legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, uh, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Oh, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? You really are the hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. <laughs> yes I will. Yes I will. So, first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, uh, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Hmm, let's be thing. We put it in the chest. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no panic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Yep. Weehee! Fast! And then... Yeah, okay, okay. So you guys will... You will definitely... You will find out that these literally do nothing bad to you. They just help you out with the plot. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think? What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna screw at a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those aren't that breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. <laughs> Buggly, wuggly, woo, your curse. Haha, <laughs> now enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane! <laughs> traveling yet suffer the best of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. Okay. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I, I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. It's just a prank, bro. The worst part of this curse is that you must still left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way. But that's the only good thing. <laughs> Isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> I zoned out. What was that? Oh god, wait, that means he does it again. 
on that. What was that? <laughs> yes, I get it. It's terrible. Oh my god. Oh, the... If you press me, you might return to the more normal. Maybe. You are really stupid. <laughs> Farewell, you foolish fool. And then look, they're just like... So, uh... Wow. Just wow. <laughs> what is that guy's beat? So there's a couple of those other black boxes in the game. You'd use a you use a black key and help and uh help that spirit thingy diarrhea shit get out. And then he literally gives you a move that is helpful to you. Whee! Look at here. Oh, Mario, Kumbella, look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door, spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. Here it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. No. <laughs> What's the deal with uh, this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Well, why you stand on it? Professor? What's, uh, going on? <laughs> and a comet lands on the treasure map. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you learn a new special move. Sweet Treat is a healing yourself thing. You can, you like, shoot things and you heal yourself. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Mm. I think it just likes the disco. <laughs> It appears that information related to the locations of crystal stars appeared. And that shining light looked as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, you should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The HQ music. <laughs> hmm. Aha! I see. You understand, Professor? I do, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. <laughs> we have no special name for it. <laughs> it well, um, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, sure. I'll do it for you guys. No, let's do it in here. No, I want to do it in here. Take a look at the star power gauge. There it is. Yep, that is. That is the star power gauge over there. Yep, one power dot. Yeah, 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 I know this. Let me just show you. Sweet tree. Yoink, 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 yoink. Oops. <laughs> So yeah, you don't want to hit those, uh, you don't want to hit the poison mushrooms. So yeah, healed 3 FPs and 2 HPs to each of us. Did you use 1 power? Okay, so now it's empty, so now what you do is just, uh, uh you hit people, I think. Or is it just take turns? Oh yeah, the audience watching. 
Yeah, because we have an audience <laughs> watching off. <laughs> we <laughs> Try to attack me, please. Hit me! Yeah, and they like watching people get hit. I'm gonna crush you, frankly! Keep building that star power. And there's now, there's more people watching. This is like, this is like a school fight. Everyone's like competing around, circling around this area. So, okay, so it automatically does that. So, it, it automatically does that. It didn't, that wasn't like random chance that I got that. It does that for the first time. It's kind of difficult to get that. Look at your audience. Is that guy have a, a hammer? He does, the bum. He means to toss it at you. Stupid ass. If the audience and members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. Okay, yep. Hey, 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 hey stop it. Security. Get <laughs> That's right, sweet justice. There we go. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the, uh... Wow! Astounding! This map has radar-like functions! It now shows the location of a crystal star! It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogue Point. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that the place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Yep, we will go there. He closes a book with his telekinesis. By the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? In a letter! From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. This wouldn't be her, would it? <laughs> I send you a visual representation. So it is her! The princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. Okay, so let's go, let's go. Yeah, we, we don't need all this. Oh, he'll stay in town, ask around Princess Peach. So at least you're doing something, unlike Toadsworth. Wait just a moment! Power smash, there we go. It's scary out there to take this, so take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. I know about badges. Uh-oh, oops. <laughs> this is where I'm going to be leaving off this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We begin the game, and we have many mysteries to uncover. What is the treasure? What is the secret treasure behind the Thousand Year Door? Is it a vibrator? Is it literally nothing? Is it something that's going to end the world like Thanos? Is it an infinity stone? Who knows? Who knows at this point? But we are going to be on our way to Petal Meadows next episode. And without further ado, all of you stay cool. Stay classy. My name is Luke. Without further ado, I bid you adieu. Farewell. I'm watching someone jerk someone else off.